after July 25th, you will not see this anymore because it's just going to be natural and I'm just going to let it grow. I look forward to being able to nap outside, to be able to go down there and sit on that dock and laugh and talk and watch the sunset. I've got all these great plans. And then, of course, I want to live to be 120. Got your backpack? Yeah. yeah, I got my backpack. Number two pencils? I got everything. I'm ready. <laughs> Yesterday at 104.1, they gave me, uh, actually gave me a backpack, a Georgia backpack, uh, with supplies in it. What's going to go through your mind Monday about 2 p.m.? Well, this is going to be interesting because I don't think it's going to hit me until two weeks from now because I'm used to taking a two-week vacation. So not seeing you all for two weeks, you know. Well, we'll see you. You know, now that you're going to Georgia, we have the Bulldog Show. You can be a correspondent for us in Athens. You can now, help that's out not a, bad a little idea. bit. And, uh, you know, you know, you're a big fan of basketball. So the yes. Atlanta Hawks right here have a oh, customized wow. Wow. Pearson Ooh, 37 cool. jersey. Thank so you'll be getting you. some beautiful flowers today. So, again, oh, congratulations. And I know you, you obviously had a special bond with Chuck, who sat in this chair for 25 years. But thank you for welcoming me with open arms. I'm going to miss you. Much love. Thanks for everything. Oh, boy. Thank you, Zach. Mm -hmm. Nice. And you're a big, uh, you're getting tweets from Germany, so I might have to do it. You're big into social media, so we'll tweet yes. this out. Everybody watching. I had on. a young man send me an email from Germany during the show. Yeah. He's watching it live right now. Thank you, Mr. Coop. Yeah. Crazy. That's amazing. Yeah. Come a long way since the typewriters, your first night on air, huh? Tell me about it. Typewriters and standing up to do the news. Because we stood up. John will tell you that. Thank yeah. you for everything. Thank yes, you. thank you very much. When are you getting to, ready to write Hattieisms? I'm going to start on Hattieism soon because I have so many people asking me about it. I've got to now do it sooner Absolutely. than I expected. Life lessons. Oh, my mother's great. Great parenting guy. Mm. <laughs> all right. We're not done with you yet, Monica. It's a moment we've all resisted here. It's a, a special last night with us on the anchor desk at Channel 2 Action News. 37 years. It's a run that goes beyond description, but here's an effort. <laughs> It all started with an open house in June. About a thousand people came to WSB to meet Monica. And the love kept coming. The Georgia Association of Broadcasters inducted Monica into its Hall of Fame. The National Association of Black Journalists gave her a 2012 Legacy Award. Spelman College crowned her with a Legacy Leadership Award. And a surprise honor. Y'all got me crying. Thank you. Finch Elementary, where Monica has read to children for years, renamed its library Monica's so Corner. Nice. But it didn't stop there. She's been good for our city, for our state, and for our nation. Georgia's delegation in Congress recognized Monica. President Obama sent this letter. And Fulton and DeKalb counties both held well-deserved Monica Pearson days. Then there was this message from the Queen of Talk. On behalf of all the Atlantans and those of us around the country who have admired your work for so long, I bow to you. Flowers and congratulations from Katie Curry. Oh, and more Monica congratulations Pearson. from Good Morning America's Robin Roberts. You know, Monica, we love you. Just one night after Roberts hosted a grand retirement gala for Monica at the Fox Theater. There, Monica shared the voice many viewers don't get to hear. You give me fever. Just as she did at a luncheon held Monday with the entire WSB staff. Because you were the wind beneath my wings. And showed the humbleness and graciousness that makes Monica, Monica. Thank you so much for giving me the opportunity to work with you for 37 years. <laughs> At WSBTV.com right now, we have posted all the moments that have made Monica's time in Atlanta so memorable. And we hope you will take a bit of a time and go to WSBTV.com and have a look. You know, one of the things I remember the most was I was here for the first time being interviewed by the news director and sitting at the news director's office and the anchors and sports people walking everywhere and reporters. You came into the news director's office. You introduced yourself with that big, beautiful smile and those bright eyes uh -huh. and made me feel wanted here. For the, I mean, that was my first day, and I'll never forget that. I said, boy, this is a genuine, uh -huh. genuine person. Thank you, Glenn. But I try to do that because I know what it's like to be new in the newsroom. Uh-oh. Uh <laughs> <laughs> You've been keeping secrets from me, Jody Damore. Wow. I'm not going to talk much. 37 flowers, 37 roses for 37 years. 
Thank you, Jovita. Oh, that is wonderful. Okay, so is it my turn now? It's your turn. Okay. How time flies when you are having fun. It seems as if it was just yesterday I announced my retirement from WSB TV Channel 2 Action News, but it was almost six months ago. And it's hard to believe it was 37 years ago I came to Atlanta to work at the best station in the nation. A station and ownership that always act rather than react when it comes to what the station and the state of Georgia need. Who else but a Cox owned property would put Atlanta's first black reporter, Lo Jelks, on the air the same year, then segregationist Lester Maddox became governor of Georgia in 1968. And that same company in 1975 would make me the first woman and the first minority to anchor the daily evening news in Atlanta. Now this is a company that does what is right and not what is politically correct. And you, the viewer, have supported our efforts by watching Channel 2 Action News faithfully. And in numbers so large, we are one of the top television stations in the country. But we also are top because we have the best reporters. Our reporters provide more than coverage you can count on. We provide stories with content, context, and with people just like you. Our reporters are storytellers who get you to see and feel a story through those affected. And our stories make you want to do something, even if it's talking back to the TV set, your computer, or your phone. Now, we understand that you are not stationary when it comes to news. So we've been in the forefront of providing you news on the go with WSBTV.com, as well as through social media, from Facebook to Twitter. We are trailblazers. Now, I am going to miss being in the mix of all of this on a daily basis. I will miss being here when history is made and recording that history for future generations. But I also will miss all of those unnamed and unseen people who are the foundation of our newsroom. The photographers, the editors, graphic artists, sales, writers, producers. The list goes on and on and on. During this six-month farewell tour, I have been humbled by the honors given to me by the President of the United States, the Georgia Congressional Delegation, the Governor of Georgia, the Georgia House and Senate, the Commissioners of DeKalb, Fulton, and Gwinnett County, and then many civic groups and churches. But what has touched me even more are those cards and the letters and the emails and the tweets, the Facebook messages, and the gifts from you, the viewer. I am overwhelmed by your kindness and your words of congratulations, support, and well wishes. And it is you I will miss the most. And I want to thank you for always keeping it real, no matter where I was, telling me how you feel about Channel 2 Action News. So thank you for caring and getting involved, from story ideas for news and local programming, to station projects through our Family to Family program, from stuffing the bus with school supplies for homeless children to a build for Habitat for Humanity. Thank you for allowing me into your home every night, for allowing me to speak in your places of worship, your schools, your civic groups. Thank you for reinforcing the importance of not being anchored to the news desk, but being anchored in the community. And thank you for your continued support of Channel 2 Action News with Jovita Moore, Justin Farmer, Glenn Burns, and the entire news staff. They will continue to provide you the coverage you can count on. Oh. These are my kids. <laughs> well, you've rendered us speechless. <laughs> That's a first. <laughs> <laughs> I think Glenn's going to join me with some tears. Uh, I'm not <laughs> All right, you. There's a bed out there, and I'm not going to cry because I want the $25. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's been doubled up since then. <laughs> Well, all I have to say seriously is thank you for counting on Channel 2 Action News. Stay tuned now for World News with fellow Kentuckian Diane Sawyer. <laughs> we'll see you the next time's news breaks. And again tonight, Jovita and Justin and Glenn on the Channel 2 Action News night beat at 11. And remember, we're always on at WSVTV.com. Have a good evening and thank you for the love. <laughs> Time.
And I do yeah. think that we have some. I do think we have some video coming up. Also. Okay. Um, just one. Then Representative Bill Dover pushed through a bit. Continuing my extensive coverage. Africa, the continent, is rich in natural resources. And maybe its biggest resource is its people. Thank you.